Drive, drive. We're trying to pass trying the rod to down. The rod down. Hey. You go. Oh, look at that blue fish. I think it's a tog. Uh, oh, got him on. That is a big old dude. So here we are headed out of Oregon Inlet, headed out to look for cobia. Uh, the sea conditions were nice, but we had a little bit of cloud cover and we were also there kind of at the tail end of the run. Uh, there was great fishing this spring, but we were there kind of late and a lot of those fish had already pushed north into Virginia. So we were hoping that we could scrap up a couple fish on this day. conditions were just not good our friends had caught a couple fish the day before so we went and checked that same area but we really just did not have any sunshine we were hoping to have a little bit more and since we did not have that but it was forecasted to potentially clear up later on in the afternoon we decided we would just go and do some bottom fishing nearby uh, close enough by that if that sun did pop out we would be able to race back over to the beach and be right back in the game but it was just a waste of time looking for them in the clouds. If there's not a lot of fish, you really are not going to do well with cloudy conditions. Yeah. Marking something. A couple little fish. Let's see if I can get to them. Yep. Fish on Wyatt! It feels like a bass. Maybe. Oh, look at that blue fish! Oh, look at that blue fish! <laughs> Yeah, it's probably a keeper bass. Well, they had to be 13. Yep. Uh, I get 13. At least I don't know how much you can trust fish rules or whatever it's called. He's right at it, but he's keeper. All right. Big, big moment, Wyatt. Big moment. It is a really pretty one. But when the male, when the, why, when this is the knothead, oh, oh, yeah. not the best sign. Yeah, that big old blue. Was he chasing him? Yeah, he was like this big. So yeah, I, I let it hit bottom and then reeled it up to jig it so I wouldn't be... Dangerous game. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Tight.
Were you on bottom? No. Oh gosh. Yeah, there's. What'd you get? Nice sea bass? Heck yeah. What I had was not a bass because it was way up high. Yeah, I lost one. That's a pretty decent one, Scott. For here? Yeah. Ah, there's the culprit. I don't know what I got. Probably a keeper bass. No, not a, not a flounder. Hopefully a blue dog doesn't eat him. Yeah, definitely a keeper bass. This ain't half bad, Wyatt. If the togs are here. We have crabs. Nick has the whole nine yards for that. Not a waste of time. No. We need to catch a blue dog so we can drop some meat. Yeah, I don't know what those are. I got one. Oh, it came off too. Up really high. Got another one. Wow. Bass are up at so high. Wow. Yeah. You guess or I'm going. Dude, there was structure. I mean there was fish. Hey, hey. Yeah, they a lot of them are up pretty high. Oh, hold on. I'm almost on bottom white. Oh, yeah. I'm on the tog drift, Nick. They feel nicer? Doesn't or does? Nice.
Oh yeah. That one should keep. Not yet. Mm. No. Uh, I thought he found a blue dog. Come out. That'd be cut bait. Hold on a second, Wyatt. I'm like. Yeah. I'm just going to keep messing with it in the structure for a second. get hooked nicely here oh these are thanks whoa I think I just had a good bite on the crab but I don't know I might not have a crab now I think it's just a bass. I think it's just a bass. <laughs> All right. Meat. Call my rig the longest drop. This is not fast. This one here might go. I don't think so. But it's a knot head. All right. Yeah, the amount of bites that I'm getting on the uh, crab tells me that if we have cut bait, you would definitely catch some. What you got, Nick? Nice. I need your assistance here, Scott. I feel like this one might. It's about like the first one I caught. Probably not worth keeping him. Very close. Nah. Pretty fish though. Seeing, because when I get the crab down there, it's like a constant bite. Yeah. Twelve inch. Or... No. I don't know if this is a bass, Wyatt. Ooh. Taking strength? Yeah. I think it's a tog. Yeah. About to be right here. I'll get him. Yeah, it's a nice tog. He's hooked good. He's hooked good. That was a damn right. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> On to me! We got him! Woo! Box full! <laughs> That's a nice fish. Quite good? Yeah, both pretty good. Oh yeah. 16 incher. How big was your uh, jig? Ounce. What, what? Are, are you going to be dropping a jig? Yeah. You're going to feel a lot of little bass bites. Do not set it on all of them. You got to wait till you feel something heavy because you'll just lose every crab. Uh, we're about to get so bassed up. How heavy is your jig, Scott? <laughs> How heavy? Like two ounces. Uh, the little sea bass will pick that up. Oh yeah. Oh, I feel like a decent tog would have no problem with that. Not at all. Oh yeah. What kind of bite am I getting? Feels like a sea bass. Yeah, I got a sea bass. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's got the tog. He's got the tog. It's in the stuff. Did you get him out? Is it a tog or a bass? I mean, it's either a big bass or a small tog. Oh, it'll keep though. It's a nice one. For an inshore bass, he's oh, a nice yeah. one. You don't even need to measure him. Being able to see the beach. Rare. Elusive. Yeah, I think if you came here with some squid, you could probably catch a few. But I also think the crabs keep the smaller ones a little, a little less excited. <clears throat> Dang it. Yeah, if you're not getting bit, you don't have bait most likely, or you're not on the bottom. I mean, it's instant. Great work on the on the trophy inshore bass, Nick. Jeez. Yeah, but I think it's little ones eating it on the way down. A lot of bass here. I, he's either not on the bottom or doesn't have bait. I mean, it's it's instant. There you go. That's a nice fish there. Bass or a tog? I'm gonna go Definitely looks like it'll keep if it's a bass. There you go. What we got? Some crab eating bass? Mm -hmm. Yours has to keep, right? Hi. Oh, that'll keep. Berries is a little small. Yeah, yours is definitely good, I would say. You can check him, but. Uh, yeah, no, you might be right. You might be borderline. I'm still thinking, wow, it is quick here. 
Yeah. yeah. Just let them spit it out. Yeah. Not a keeper? Or two and a half. Oh, nice. So, Barry and Scott definitely both fight your drag. Yeah. You will not get the dog if you look. Just to get him off the bottom real quick. I think I might have got cleaned. No? Feels like I still have a crab. Not a nice bass. My line is like way over here right now, Why? just so you know. I don't care, but uh, we're about to get bassed up. Hopefully though, one of them will be a nice one. Wow, fierce bite. That might be your tog. That was a crazy bite, wasn't it? Yeah. It looked like he freaking thumped you. Another bass though, huh? Not even that big. Crazy. I saw your rod get rocked. I'm really just hoping for a tog bait. Yeah. That may be a measure, right? Yeah. Close. There's a oh, tape on that. that. Nice. Right there. Yeah. Guess they are out here. First one. Very strange way to catch it for what we do. Oh. Nick, you see the tape on the floor? Oh, yep, I do now. It's 13 down here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? No, I haven't. Break off? What do you need? I got this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is a very light. The small bass are extremely excited here, Wyatt. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Out. <laughs> what do you say? Sounds like there's like a 13 foot Boston Whaler coming out of the inlet. They lost power and then started, got it started again and kept going. Just a hiccup. That's a nice bass there. I have named this pin This one has to keep. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's probably what you had, Scott. Can't get away from them. Thank you. 
Yeah, I caught one. How many bad I was like, why can't I see him? Yeah. Look up ahead. Yeah. Bunch is a hound fish. Is that what you were seeing out there? But it did look similar to that? Yeah. yeah the they were doing that. I'm gonna be ready for it not to be down fish. Most of it's heading that way. Mm -hmm. Some of it came right here. They looked like houndfish to me. They look like what? I thought. Yeah, I don't know. Go down. Well, it's good stuff's waking. Saw a fin come out. You would have seen it. It might be Spanish. Could be. Wow, they left some big boils. We don't know what the. Oh, oh. Spanish. So they're all Spanish. <laughs> you can catch one if you want. Yeah, if you want to catch one. Hey, those are huge schools of Spanish. That must be, I wonder if that's what salvation is. Netting. Attempting to net. Mm. You think that was what was waking though? Yeah. We've seen it every time. Because you can't quite see them when you get over top of it. And the hound fish you can usually see. Yeah, it's big schools of Spanish. That's kind of cool. Never seen that before. Yeah, we have. Waking Spanish mackerel? Yes. I've never seen it. Oh, mega Spanish wad. In the meat. In the meat. How fouled up can we get here? I know one thing, they are hauling ass. They do not want to bite. Oh. oh my god. Look at them right here. I had some freaking nice ones on me right there. Yeah, they are biting so goofy. I had some freaking decent ones chasing me right there. Yeah, Scott, I think I've had like eight bites. Haven't hooked one. I had three nice ones chasing it around right here. I mean, do we just need to quit doing this and just look? I don't know if that will change anything. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But I do know that this is the right area to be. Yep. Yeah, we see them. Wow, you can see them. That's cool. Uh-oh. I don't think I have him hooked in the mouth. He might pull off right here. Ah! Turn right, Wyatt. Turn right. I'm just rubbing on the boat. All right. Belly hooked. Get him in yet? No, he's belly hooked. It's a nice one too. Let's see if he stays on. Watch out. Nice. Here, hold him up for the for the YouTube land. Oh yes, very sensational. No, they got yep, me. Yep, yep. All right, we're tied on one of them. Tied on one of them. Put that gear. Get ready to take the. Ro okay, you ready? What do you want me to do? I'm gonna try to drive. Run away from him. Get him, Scott. Oh crap, I didn't see that was another fish. We need to worry about your fish. Why? I know. We got the bigger one, Scott. Yep. I'm double up. Alright, keep driving away so I can get the rod down. Nick, this is here. a big fish. Guys, 
Help, help Wyatt, help Wyatt. Somebody take the rod. That's a big fish. Anybody? Guys, guys. We're trying to pass trying the rod to down. The rod down. Can I let you drive? Yes. I'm gonna go assist. Sorry, I made a bad toss on that. <laughs> it was a great toss. <laughs> <clears throat> Here, Nick. You care if I do this? Let her rip. She's ready. Let's bring him over here, Scott. We can get him right now. It's gonna be green. That's okay. <laughs> Not gonna let him fight. Man, we got that fish at the right time. It's turning into such a cluster right here. Yeah, so basically there was just one little warm pocket of water right there in front of the inlet, and that's the only place any fish were getting caught at this point in time. A couple boats had caught some fish, and everybody was quickly piling into this area. And since it was late season, there just weren't many fish to go around. Oh, it didn't take much. Yeah, They were just laying there. I don't even know if the other one was a keeper. The other one was probably close. All right, what do we got? All right, does somebody have a place to... Do we have something to hit him in the head with? Because he's going to go yeah, insane when I pull him in. Hammer, hammer. All right, where is it? Let's find it before I pull him in. Um, somebody want to grab that camera and take some videos? The hammer's in here? Yeah, I see it. All right, Nick, you ready to help with this situation? Yeah. I'm gonna put him right here. <clears throat> the Elias Shad. All right, yeah, there you go, get him. Get him a few times. He'll be dizzy. All right. Uh, Here's your camera, dude. Thank you. Oh, why, why it's in the meat. <laughs> All right, I want to get a video for Elias. Oh, he is not dead. He's getting there. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Close that bale and tighten up some line for me. You can keep fishing if you want, Wyatt. That's probably good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, here. All right, here you go. That's a nice fish. Let's get that hammer again. Here. I think the spot is a little further back. Yeah. All right. Species. Yeah. Uh, he's nice. <laughs> That's about as quick as I've ever caught one that size. Oh, that, that $5,000 rod and reel combo that you had. Oh, man. Ooh. I figured. You know what, I can't believe that happened. Wow, how did that happen? Uh, yeah. I'll deal with him. Scott, did you see what we caught him on? Yeah. Here you go, Wyatt. Okay. See how long he is real quick. What we got? He's over, is that? Yeah, he's probably like 50 inches total, maybe. Total length, yeah.
nice fish there. Yeah, yeah. You're seeing this, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry. Hook up! That is not what we are after. Yeah, it is. Chad will take that. Go, go do whatever you want to get to, Scott. I'm all good. Or do you need to go fast? Is that a huge school of greenies then, or is that Spanish? Oh, little cobia right here. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh! Got him. Got him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Later, I'm going. <laughs> there, I'll, I'll get it. No. Oh! He, he cut the line, he cut the leader with his uh, gill plate. I'll, I'll get it out. Yeah. Yeah, I did. You want a picture of him, Nick? He's bleeding kind of bad. Right up top. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll tie it up. He had a pretty fierce head shake to him. Uh, fish with him. I'm, I'm putting, they're going to be on the left. They're rays, but be ready if it's cobia. Yeah, but be ready. There should be a fish with them. I just, we haven't seen a single school. Man. Yeah, good call, Wyatt. Man, I thought that was them. Just haven't seen a single school of rays all day. But I'm probably going to keep going this direction then. I like how we're seeing Spanish today. Yep. It is right. Yep, yep. I see it, so I'm on it. I would hit him. I would hit him. Great cast, Wyatt. I don't see any fish. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. They almost always have fish. That is a big old dude. They never hang out with the boat like that. We just ran him over. There's a keeper. Did you see him, Nick? No. You didn't? No, I did see him. I thought, I thought At the last second. No. He's come back up. Yeah. He let us get real close. Yeah, he did. That's the first one we've seen. And obviously he was on the right side of the boat where I can see like 10 feet. Can you hand me that rod down? Yep. I need a rod. Is that he Nick's just, rod? Yeah, he hand me up mine. I'll swap with you. <laughs> Here you go. Where was he headed? Uh, he was going south. Oh. I think it's two two little stingrays. It's little stingrays. Oh man! Sure looked like it though. That's what that one looked like earlier. I've never seen a cobia on one before, but oh. there goes a bonito right there. Oh no, those are uh, greenies. Did you get that thing bled, Wyatt? Did you get that thing bled? Beautiful. Oh no.
starting to kind of dissolve once they saw us. Don't see them. It's weird. And they were waking like crazy. They were waking hard. Let's see if they come back up real quick. They definitely started going down as we got closer. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh, there they are right there. I'm gonna follow them, screw it. You're not gonna reach them. Hold on, I'll... Like this? Just so that I'm not. Oh, yeah. They saw the freaking. Uh... Oh, got him on. That's a Spanish, I think. Yep, Spanish. What a weird day. That's a nice one, Wyatt. Get him in here. Or not. Are they on you? Nope. Throw up. You got to. They're way up ahead if you want to get them. Uh, you're good, you're good. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around or I guess I can try to I guess we'll get them one more time hold on they're not they're still a little far for you hold on I'll try them now if you want see them right there no nope. no nope, you're behind them yeah try again Oh, it's a good, good it's a yeah, it's a good 50 to 100 of them. Oh, I see them. Yeah, get. There you go, Nick. Start jigging, start jigging, start jigging. Oh, crap. There you go, Scott. Real, real, real. They're on you right now. They're you're in the fish. Ah, uh, no, they're they're done. They're not gonna play. Scott got it right through them. We'll keep going. Probably a little behind them there, but you might be in them. Yep, that's a bonito, I think, or a little Spanish. Little Spanish. If you reel it in really fast, Barry, they're already all under the boat. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, they're well, they're off to the right, but there's there's way more coming. What? <laughs> he might have seen a couple baits today. Oh, I hit him. All right. I'm going to keep going. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that, I think that's two ends of a stingray's wings, but I'm going to hope it's not. Oh, no, that looks like cobia. Uh, do you want to try to fish? Wow, he's scared as hell. All right. It's more than one. Be ready in case it's a bunch. Yeah. You want to drive? Yeah. All right. Slow down. All right. Let it, let it off. Let it off. That's a nice fish. He turned away and ran away. He's he's all the way off y'all in front of the bow now. Eleven. He's scared as hell. Okay. Scared as hell. Freaking out. Oh, I messed that up. All right, let's keep moving. Might be in some fish now. Just got to find one that's not fearing for his life. Yeah, I, I got perfect on him that first time and he literally went the other way. Okay. They got a big logger head off their bow. All right, Nick, you're up to bat next, and I'll drive. Yeah, that's, well, and I'm okay with 62, but it was literally like 58.1. Oh, yeah, see we see, all right, I got to go. We see a big one. It might be a freaking shark. I got to go. I, we just, literally, like, I called you because it was dead, and then, like, we got into some fish, so. <laughs> all right, I'll see you. That looks like a hammer to me. Big cobia.
Oh wow, he already turned off of us. Right, yep, yep, yep. Oh. I'm about to throw. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll try. You go quick. Wow. Scared to death. Oh, he's going on it now, kind of. Oh, gosh. Throw it to him, Nick. Or I, I'll, I'll try again. Yeah, there you go. Perfect cast. Perfect cast. Start jigging. <laughs> These aren't Oregon Inlet Cobias. These are Chesapeake Bay Cobias. Probably come back up. He did, but I mean, I threw at him multiple times behind the boat and he was afraid of it. He dipped at you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he bit me. Yeah. What? Uh, you can throw if you want. We're not really going to be able to see him. Who's throwing? I don't care. I want Barry to catch. He's coming at us. All right, he went down. He's a rat. He's running from my bucktail. Oh, here he goes. You can throw it a minute. Go ahead. Oh, there you go, Nick. Get ready. You're about to be on him. Reel up to him. Reel up to him. Reel up to him. Damn. Yeah, he's afraid of it. Okay, I guess we'll keep looking. Maybe one will bite eventually. Well, that was it. There just weren't all that many cobias out there that day. They were mostly small and they didn't even want to bite. I don't know how we caught that first one. Uh, must have just landed on the right fish. Maybe he had not been messed with, but all the other fish we were seeing late in the day, as you could tell. I mean, it's not often that an Oregon Inlet cobia in the springtime you throw to him and he runs away from your jig. I've seen that in the Chesapeake Bay plenty of times once they're up there spawning, being funky, and it's not migration time and they've been fished for all summer, but Oregon Inlet, pretty interesting to see that behavior. Anyway, really interesting day, lots of different stuff. Um, considering the cobia fishing was pretty poor, I'm happy that we branched out and did some other stuff and goofed off and caught Spanish mackerel. Uh, some sea bass. I think we caught six or seven legal sea bass pretty close to the beach, which is neat. Caught that tog, had a couple sheep's heads. So great day, had a lot of fun. It was beautiful weather. So it's hard to complain about that. And if you're interested in picking up any of the sword knives, I've got a link down in the description. If you want to buy one that way, it'll support my channel. I've been using their knives for several months now. They gave me a couple of them and I've been pretty impressed. Uh, the main thing that I was skeptical about was if the blade would resharpen well because in my experience some of those higher end blades a lot of the time that is a really hard metal and it's hard to get it to take an edge again but this knife I've had good results with it and I'm pretty happy with it. It's a high end knife, they're expensive so it's not for everyone but if it's something you're interested in check them out. I've got that one and then over there behind me on the table you can see uh, that's the 9 inch serrated knife that they make. I use that one to knock the scales off of my sheep's head and drum or cut through the scales rather uh, just to save my other blades. But yeah, you see I got the sheep's head out right there, grabbed that serrated blade to uh, knock those scales out of there. And I also got another knife, the nine inch uh, flexi blade, I think is what they call it. And I've been using that one a little bit and it's great too. So if you want to check out any of those, uh, I would recommend them. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you pick one up. 